I read a lot. Uh, there were always contests at the library in the summer where, you know, if you read 10 books, you got a little gold star. If you read 20, you got like two. And uh, there were like five or six girls and I that would always read like 35 books and we'd see, you know, who could do the most. Um, it was a broad set of things. Uh, eventually, a fair bit of science fiction uh, because that intrigued me. Uh, some biographies, you know, understanding what different leaders had done and how they'd picked what they'd wanted to do. And so I'd say science fiction and biography were the, the categories that had the most impact. Yeah, the, in, among the science fiction uh, things, uh, uh, Williams Rice Burroughs wrote a Martian series, and I read that. Then he also had the Tarzan books, and there's an unbelievable number of them, uh, like 40 of them, and I eventually decided to read those as well. I didn't actually read Catcher in the Rye until I was 13, and you know, ever since then, I said that's my, my favorite book. It's you know, very clever, you know, it acknowledges that young people are a little confused, but it can be smart about things and see things that adults don't really see. Uh, so I've, I've always loved it. My second uh, favorite book is, is the book by John Knowles called The Separate Piece. And that's a phenomenal uh, book. I've uh, been reading it to my uh, son recently. Uh, there's actually a movie made of it that's fairly good. But, you know, I'd say the book uh, is, is incredibly good. That's two young boys growing up, one who is, is sort of intentionally trying to be good at things, and the other, Eugene, is just kind of naturally uh, great at sports and has this wonderful energy, and uh, they have this great friendship. And it happens to be at a time where the older boys are going off to war, and they're trying to figure out what does that mean to them. And the author talks about this period of his life as really defining how he, the rest of his life, how he sees everything as sort of in comparison to this period where he didn't really know where he fit in. You know, he thought of himself as maybe too calculating. And uh, the end of the book, which I won't spoil, uh, is a bit of a tragedy with this friend of his. Uh, but it, it really uh, talks a lot about what is our bargain with the world? How do we grow up? Uh, what are we uh, worried about and, and how do we uh, take that into adulthood?